All right, ladies and gentlemen, here is game number two of the four of the salary cap good games that I went ahead and uh, saved on the computer for you guys. So, uh, not really sure what my record is going into this game. Uh, I showcased it afterwards. And uh, earlier on, I, I really, really, really got into it playing a ton of salary cap. But then I, I just don't think I have the necessary... Um, you can see I went all, at this point, I'm all defense, like all defense. My offense is terrible. I have bronze offensive line. I have bronze, like tight ends. I have a bronze, uh, like two bronze receivers. All I have is an elite quarterback, elite running back, two elite receivers, and everything else is as terrible as it can get. Um, because after I was facing everything that I seen that I was going up against, and salary cap is okay. I, I need a good defense. I do like you know um, a lot of right there. We just got beat over the top. Good play by him as he ends up scoring. Um, I'm going up against you know really 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 good offenses. You know some of the better plays in the game, and I'm going up against them constantly, game after game after game. And uh, I'm not my adjustments aren't that good. My defensive play calling isn't that good for me to do well with an okay defense, but. I feel confident I can do okay with a terrible offense as long as my defense can keep me in the game. So that's why we're like maxed out. I got pretty much my mud team on defense. But, you know, I took the advice of a few other uh, people. They were just like, yo, bronze or silver O-line is the way to go. Because my very first game, my, the very first team I put together, I went ahead <coughs> and I went. Gold offensive line, three stacked tight ends that can block for me. And I had blocking all over the place. And I just wasn't doing good because my defense was terrible. Now, look at my bronze offensive line. And they're still doing a good job of blocking. It kind of makes you think, like, what is up with the blocking system when, you know, somebody like me who runs the ball a lot, trust me when I say that, like, um, bronze O-line, it's, it's the way to go. You know, that's why you see people with Randy Moss, Julio Jones, Antonio Brown, Clowney, and all these mega players on the team because they tank the O-line and they do a pretty good job of being able to hold up. And speaking of doing a good job of holding up, great blocking by him. Very next play. You see, he scored off back-to-back -back plays and I'm just like, damn. <laughs> if I'm going to be in a shootout, I don't have much of a chance of winning because my offense just really isn't that good. You know, I rely heavily on my defense. Who would have thunk, right? And we fumble and he recovers. So it's not looking good for me. I'm down 14-7. And he has ball right there. We resort to trying to send some pressure, trying to mix it up a little bit, trying to uh, stop his running game and uh, force him to pass. And then I can come out in the quarter's defense as that fumble gets overturned. So right here, here we go with the man-to-man. -man. And he beats me on the press, but thankfully it was overthrown. So he's going to go on ahead and settle for three. So I'm already frustrated. You know, we fumble, and it's just like, okay, this is not the type of game I feel comfortable in being able to win. Since I know my offense is so terrible. Uh, well, my offensive players, not my offense. You know, um, I don't have... Even my offense is still built around um, running the ball. Even though I have no wide receivers or tight ends. You know, the two elite receivers I got do a really good job of run blocking. You know, the tight ends that I got, I got the best run blocking I can try and get. And you can see we are down 24-7 to 7 just like that. So now I'm in a situation that, okay, I have to abandon the run... I got a pass. I, I need quick scores. I'm not going to be able to do that on the ground, right? So uh, Simeon's going to have to try and and help me launch the ball to these bronzies and hopefully do well. But, of course, I'm not going to abandon the run because I know the AP can get loose just like this. Nice little inside juke. We're at the 20, and I believe we get ball at half. Nonetheless, we have to score here. Really quick throw over there to the left side. Thankfully, we don't fumble this time. Fight for me, signature Demarius Thomas. Such a viable player, man. He does everything. A good speed, good route running, great blocking. So 14 to 24. Now, the most important thing is to head into the second half with the score. I cannot let him score. So here we go. We're going to try and send some pressure. We got ourselves a sack. And I call a timeout to see if I can go ahead and get the ball back. Right here, he has plenty of time. And he throws over the middle for a first down. I'm like, geez, where's our pressure? We need a block shed somewhere along the lines. And right here, you see, he's just... He's just dotting me up, man. I'm having a trouble stopping him. Right here, first and 10. And uh, he ends up going over the middle. And ah, we couldn't get the INT off the deflection. 
So here we go back again with the quarters defense right here. And we make a play. We just get our meat hooks in there to bat the pass down. So right here, just a few seconds left. We're just going to back everybody up. Don't get beat over the top. So uh, we do get ball to have. So we can potentially make it a one-score game with either a field goal or a touchdown. Believe me, I want a touchdown. But a field goal isn't the worst thing in the world because it still makes it one score. So, again, not going to abandon the run. I have Adrian Peterson. He's by far my best offensive weapon. Don't really have that good of a passing offense. So, got to try and hope that these bronze cars can hold up. Hopefully, AP can hold on to the ball. And let's see if we can just move the ball on the ground. You know, make some good running reads. And right there, AP just fighting for me. Just rumbling forward. So another run right here to the left side. And unfortunately, we don't get any yards right there. Second and 15. We need a quick dot. And it's another fumble. But thankfully, we recover this one. So now we need a super mega dot. Because now it's third and 30, damn near. So right here, we're standing in the pocket. We're looking, we're looking. And we end up going underneath just enough yards to go on ahead and get me in field goal range. But we decide to go for it. And thankfully, we pick up the first down. So here we go right here with another run and just unfortunately don't get anything there. So we go to uh, the draw. We hit the outside. Damn suction tackle got me from behind. So third and 15 and incomplete pass. Well, it's actually complete. We actually catch it. But this time around, it's like, okay, let's settle for three. Let's go on ahead. Let's kick our field goal. Let's hope we can get a stop to go on ahead and tie this game. And not really too confident because, you know, his offense has been doing pretty damn good against me. So... Hopefully, we can go in ahead and uh, get something going defensively. So, all uh, right, there goes deep over the middle. And uh, another big catch right there. Just when I think we're in good position. Looks like you're getting closer and closer to the field goal range. So, it's not looking good for us. We take a chance on the run commit. We strip him. But, unfortunately, he recovers. So, third and five right here. We need a big play. He rolls out right here. And we end up forcing a duck, and we end up forcing a complete pass. So big play right here. Fourth and five, he's going to go for it right here. We send some pressure, and he throws right at me, and we come away with the interception. So we have 224 to get the ball downfield to see if we can go ahead and tie this game up. AP fighting hard for me. 21 carries for 150 yards, and he is still fighting for me. So first and 10, another draw play right here. Fall forward, man. Just give me that one yard. Uh, second and 11 right here. Blocks hold up. We hit the outside. And it looks like he can go. Oh, uh, uh, he gets tracked down at the five-yard line right here. We end up going to AP underneath, but unfortunately, we lose a yard. So he's calling timeout. Smart play by him to try and see if he can preserve some time for him to make a downfield attempt if he's able to go on ahead and uh, score. So fourth and goal. We need a big play. We go over the middle. And we keep defeating bounds. Yes. We end up tying the game 24 all. So he has all three of his timeouts. So I'm a little worried. We get ourselves a sack right there. 40 seconds left after he calls the timeout. Goes over the middle and he picks up a big first down. Now I'm like, damn it. He's probably going to get a field goal range. So another blitz. Another incomplete pass right here. Second and 10. We end up sending another blitz, but it got picked up. And he decides to take off, and we get ourselves a tackle. So 19 seconds. He calls a timeout. Yutsi! And we end up getting the pick in field goal range. And he's just going to go on ahead and quit the game. Whoo! What a comeback. What a comeback. See ya, boy, GS, man. One hell of a game right there. We were down 24-7 to and still came back and won the game. Whoo, what a game. It's your boy GS, man. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hit that like button if you guys did. See you guys next video. Peace.